Hello everybody. I wanted to take a minute to talk about Mercury Retrograde coming up and um, give you some survival tips and then just do a basic general reading. Um, I am going to be doing your individual zodiac readings in a couple days, probably on, the, I'm aiming for the 15th. Um, if not, then they should be up sometime on the 16th. Um, so this is, you know, this may or may not resonate for you. It's, it's possible that your, your individual zodiac sign will resonate for you but that this might be a specific message for a select few people that are on my channel. So, you know, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, I just wanted to talk about Mercury Retrograde a little bit. Okay, because I'm having dreams about my exes already, and it's with the new moon energy. That was, a, I don't know if you guys are having strange dreams at all right now, but I think it's connected to the new moon that we had yesterday. Um, and Mercury Retrograde typically does sometimes bring back exes. So, be prepared for that. We are going into the shadow phase on the 15th and then on, I think it's the 1st of February, we're going into Mercury Retrograde itself and I think it's going to last about three weeks or so. But you guys, do you want to prepare yourselves because you might have, I mean, I, I channel toxic exes for a lot of you guys, probably like eight or nine of the Zodiacs out of the 12 that I do um, have some sort of toxic ex that's still kind of lurking around. It's kind of a common energy. Um, I think that I'm help. I think that people are drawn to this channel because I'm, I'm helping you navigate through that energy and, and, you know, change those cycles and, and hopefully attract someone better. Cause most of you do have new love coming in. So keep that in mind. So um, anyway, not to blab too much, but just, okay. Mercury retrograde survival tips. So you might have an ex coming back around. You might, if you have someone thinking about you right now, they might be showing up in their in your dreams. You might just kind of be feeling that energy, and you know, Mercury retrograde just really puts people in their head. Um, it's it's common to feel low during Mercury retrograde. It's common to feel upset. It's common to get emotional out of nowhere, uh, and and nostalgic. You know, I think it's a very introspective energy. You know, sometimes like during Mercury retrograde, I kind of get stuck in my head and I start thinking about the past a lot, and it's very, it's a trickster type of energy too, because it's like you'll miss people that you normally wouldn't miss, you know, it's like, so if your toxic ex comes back around, you need to kind of rise above that energy and remind yourself why you left them in the first place or why it didn't work out in the first place, you know, keep that in mind, kind of stay one step ahead, just be prepared for that energy and maybe shield yourself, ground yourself, you know, don't let the loneliness take over, don't, don't get back into that energy because it's typically just it's short-lived too you know what I mean it's like you might maybe reconnect with someone but then it's like when when mercury retrograde clears up then it's like you guys kind of remember why it didn't work out in the first place or that nostalgia is gone so it's just you know stay stay a step ahead it's, you know prepare for exes it doesn't mean necessarily that an ex will message you but it, it's possible with mercury retrograde it definitely is so just stay a step ahead, prepare, the, prepare yourself for that, um, you know, be logical and, and don't let the loneliness take over, you know, just, just remember why it didn't work out with that person in the, in the first place. Cause Mercury retrograde, it's, it's, um, it's just, it's a tricky energy. Um, another survival tip, I, I recommend not doing witchcraft during Mercury Retrograde. I don't like doing it unless it's like an emergency and I have to, but the thing is that things tend to backfire during Mercury Retrograde. So, you might do a general love drawing spell and end up drawing a toxic ex back in, or you might do just any, any number of things can backfire. Even really well-intentioned spells can backfire during Mercury Retrograde because that energy is just so chaotic and unstable. So if you can, I suggest doing spell work now right before the shadow phase, like especially with the new moon yesterday, today would be a good, do, a good day to do spell work. Um, and then maybe even tomorrow, but on the 15th when the shadow phase starts, I probably, I probably wouldn't, you know, um, maybe, maybe you have another week or so to do it, but, but I would use the new moon, new moon energy actually, if you're, if you're planning on doing it, I would do that tonight if you can, if you can summon up the energy. Um, so yeah, try to avoid spell work during Mercury retrograde. Just things can backfire, so it's just it's better not to. Um, and that like there's the common ones, you know. There uh, can be vehicle malfunctions, um, mal malfunctions with technology. It's best to not to go on any long trips during Mercury retrograde. 
it's best not to commit to anything major. Like Mercury retrograde is a time when you would not want to get a new tattoo. You would not want to move into a new apartment. You would not want to start dating something, somebody new. Um, don't sign any contracts. Just don't make any big purchases. Nothing like that because Mercury retrograde is that time where things are not what they seem. It's a very, it's like I said, it's a very trickster type of energy. So it's like you might move in with somebody and then, you know, everything's going great. And then, you know, after Mercury retrograde, you start realizing there's incompatibilities or same for, for, you know, dating someone new. There's just all this confusing energy. And so if you meet someone new during Mercury retrograde, it's like, it doesn't mean that you can't date them and that you should cut them out. It's just saying like, it's not a great time to start a relationship because there's probably things there that you haven't seen yet. You know, there's just underlying hidden energy um, that you might not be aware of. And, and things tend to just malfunction during Mercury retrograde. So it's like if you're planning on buying like a printer or like a computer, you know, there's a higher chance of it just not being right for you or, you know, you lose the receipt and you can't return it. Just everything that can go wrong will go wrong during Mercury retrograde. But it doesn't mean, I mean, you can survive it. It's not pure chaos. And the energy can be um, like redirected, I think, to, to some extent, you know, to you know, this, this is a time where you can rest and heal and be introspective and, you know, decide your next steps. So it's not really a time for action, but, but, you know, you can, um, you can use that energy to kind of just be introspective and just rest and just kind of play it cool for a bit. Um, but, but yeah, no, no major commitments. That's just, it's not, such a great idea turn Mercury retrograde no traveling either I would I would not recommend traveling um I would not recommend going like any long distances um arguments are really common during Mercury retrograde oh my god I am feisty too so I know I'm gonna be getting into some of them probably ugh ugh not looking forward to that <laughs> but yeah arguments are so common during Mercury retrograde because there's so much miscommunication and you really, it's not a good time to have deep conversations. It's not a great time to tell anybody how you feel because there is a good chance that they will misinterpret it. That you might, especially through text. If you do have to have a serious conversation, do it in person, do it face to face and make sure you are very mindful about your energy and your choice of words. Cause it, there's just so many things are misinterpreted during Mercury retrograde. So many things. Um, and that leads to chaos and arguments because people just, the energy is just too confusing for everybody. So really try to avoid deep, serious conversations during that time too. I kind of isolate myself. I mean, I, I'm already a home buddy, but I isolate myself even more during Mercury Retrograde. I try to just, you know, watch Netflix, read, work on my art projects, um, save my money, just not do, not do anything major, you know, just stay at home, just chill, just ride it out and use, I mean, again, you know, use that energy for meditation, for introspection, just, just don't do anything that could backfire drastically. You know what I mean? Like starting a new relationship or making a major purchase or signing a lease or moving in somewhere or traveling or just just nothing like that during Mercury Retrograde. I, I wouldn't recommend any of that. I would recommend just, just keeping low during Mercury Retrograde um, and just writing it out, basically. And um, so, yeah, yeah, car problems. Um, technology also tends to malfunction. I've had, I've had long, long pages that I've written that I've just accidentally deleted during Mercury Retrograde. So I try to avoid... I mean, some of you are probably in school, and so you might not be able to... Um, to avoid projects but I mean if you can just be extra cautious to continue if you're writing something or if you're working on an art project online just keep hitting that save button again and again keep hitting that save button make sure you know it's one of those times where you just you want to be mindful of every little thing around you and it's not to scare you it's not like the end of the world it's just you know that energy is necessary it's energy that that we need to kind of rest and to kind of um you know, it's like we find ourselves during Mercury retrograde too, because there's so much introspective energy. So many of us are going to be, you know, going inward because it's like, we're not going to have any other choice, but to, um, I do want to say, save your money too. Like if you have, if you say you're, say you're thinking about making a big purchase right now, I honestly just wouldn't, um, 
unless you know for sure you're going to have rent money on the first because it's just murky retrograde can cause money um, issues too, especially with like the miscommunication and just the chaos. It's really good to hold on to your money on this time, save some money just to be on the safe side because it's, yeah, it's almost like for some people, Mercury retrograde is almost like the tower tarot card that just comes in. Um, so you really, you really want to be cautious with that. Uh, I'm going to do a reading too and see what we get. What do you need to know about this time? I'll probably do another Mercury retrograde reading in like a week or two. Um, just to kind of see like who might be coming back for you around this time. Like if there's anything else you should know, but just see if there's a quick message coming up here. Four of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Reversed, Seven of Cups, Upright, Six of Cups, The Magician, yeah, there's that nostalgia I was talking about. Someone might be trying to manifest you back. Yeah, Five of Wands, Strength, yeah, kind of just what we were talking about. Strength, Ace of Swords, let me get two more here. Queen of Pentacles. Ooh, I think it's telling you to hold on to your finances, too. Someone could try to, someone, if, for some of you, if you had someone that used you for money, they might try to come in and do that again. So watch out for that. Okay, so I think it's saying, there's a couple of different messages I'm getting here. Just looking at the cards, okay, four of pentacles and six of wands reversed. I think this is a message that goes together. So this is about finances, like kind of, it can be material, greed, wealth. But for me, I see it as someone who just needs to hold on to their finances, like I was saying. And six of wands upright would be being in the public eye and reversed. I would take that as do not be in the public eye, like keep your finances secret. So I think this is saying like, don't, if you're getting a large sum of money, don't tell anybody about it, whether it's the stimulus check that's coming or it's some other, like whatever it might be, whatever this, like a new job, whatever this financial situation is, it's kind of saying like, keep that to yourself. Maybe a few close friends, maybe one or two close family members, but for the most part, keep that to yourself because there could be jealousy here. There could be somebody that, I don't know if this person would steal money from you. There's just some sort of energy here that's just warning you that whatever the whatever's going on with your finances, it's just kind of saying keep that secret. Um, I don't know, like I said, I don't know if someone would actually steal money for you or it could just be saying maybe someone would be jealous if you were in the spot like that, if you were like, if you were, um, you know, talking about this new job or talking about this career. It's almost like maybe you have some frenemies around you that are actually jealous of you and that jealous energy might negatively impact you. So whatever, some of you might be working on something too I feel a new start here at the end of Mercury Retrograde with Ace of Pentacles. So some of you might be might be focusing on starting like a, your own business, um, graduating college, finding a new job, just some sort of leveling up when it comes to career and finances. And I think that might be what it's saying to keep secret too. Like just wait, wait until those eggs have hatched, you know, because um, jealousy can affect your path. If you and there, like I said, there might be some people around you that are kind of, they're, they're your friend, but they, they have some resentment. They have some insecurities and they don't want to see you doing better than them, which is sad that people are like that. But a lot of people are, and you kind of have to really be cautious with your circle, you know, could be too, that you have some ideas that you need to make sure you keep to yourself because these, these people might try to steal those ideas. Like say you have an, a, a business idea, like, oh, I'm going to start making candles and I'm going to make them with, um, like you're going to do something special with them. And this person's like, Oh, that's a good idea. Maybe I'll do that. Or maybe I'll share this idea with other people and someone might steal that idea. So keep your ideas, your finances, keep all of that secret right now. Be really cautious with your energy right now. Cause you might, a couple of you might have some people around you that you can't really trust. 
it doesn't mean that they don't love you. It's just like some people are just so toxic. Like they're so insecure and bitter that if they see you doing well, it's like they're like energy vampires. Like they want a part of that. They can't just be happy for you. They have to make everything a competition. So, so yeah, any business ideas, keep it to yourself right now. And don't go into business with anyone right now either. That's another warning. You know, Mercury retrograde, like I was saying, you don't want to make any major commitments during Mercury retrograde. So going into business with someone would not be a good idea right now. So whatever your ideas are, and you might have some come up during Mercury retrograde, because like I said, that's like a very um, intuitive, like introspective energy. So you might kind of be laying low and, and meditating and having these ideas come in. And when they come in, write them down, but don't share them. Don't share them. Unless you know someone that you can trust for sure. But this, like I said, this person, one or two people or more that are around you that are jealous, they, you think they're your friends. And they, they, I mean, they are to an extent, but it's like they're also jealous and insecure. So if you have someone that you know for sure is not like that, then maybe you could share it. But you have to really be cautious because this person might be sweet on the outside, but actually be an energy vampire on the inside, if that makes sense. I think you'd have some hint of it probably, though. Like you'd kind of sense like... Like, why is it when I tell um, Marcy, like, just, I don't know why that name came out, or why why is it when I tell this, this person, uh, you know, that I got a new job, or I got a new boyfriend, like, why, or a new girlfriend, or whatever, like, why are they not happy for me? Like, you can feel that energy, like, why are they competitive? Why aren't they, like, thrilled that this just happened for me, you know? Like, I think there might be some sort of awareness there that this person is jealous and bitter and insecure, but so yeah, um, protect yourself. Also, there's a warning about an ex here because we got seven of cups. So this could be you dreaming about someone or someone dreaming about you. And then with the six of cups, these dreams are going to trigger nostalgia. It's like they're going to be reminded of you and then they're going to start thinking, oh, I wonder how he or she is doing. I wonder what's going on with them. You know, they're going to start thinking back and kind of missing you and they're going to try to manifest you back. Or this could be, it could be vice versa. It could be that they're coming through in your dreams and you're feeling nostalgic and you might decide that you want to do some spell work to manifest this person back. And it's kind of saying, you know, it's going to be the same miscommunication though. The same lack of communication. Like silent, the silent treatment or just miscommunication, especially during Mercury Retrograde, just not saying eye to eye on things, just, just emotional differences. You know, I have that, I've had that happen with my, um, with my twin flame too, where it's like, sometimes he'll pop through my dreams or like, I'll channel him psychically. And I'm like, you know what? That's, that's not enough. I, I shut it down because I'm like, you know what? I don't, if you're not going to talk to me in the physical, I don't want it. Like if you're not talking to me on Facebook or calling me or coming over, like if we're not having a physical relationship, I don't, I'm not going to bother with it. You know what I mean? Because sometimes people will do that. It's like they'll, especially if your person is psychic too, it's like they might, like they try to pull you back in and they might come through your dreams or be doing that spell work or doing whatever to kind of pull you back in. But it's like, they just want your energy. They don't actually want you. They don't actually love you. They just want to feed on your energy. You know what I mean? So it's like when my twin flame does that to me, when he pops through my dreams, I'm like, that's nice. I'm if we're not talking physically, though, I don't care. That's not a relationship. That's just you coming through my dreams. Like, I could channel him every minute of the day, and I'm like, that's still not a relationship. That's not what I want. I want an actual physical relationship. I want someone I can physically talk to and share ideas with. You know what I mean? So just keep that in mind that it's like you might have someone that you love and miss, and it's like they might pull you back in, but keep in mind it could just be astral like it could just be telepathic it's like they pull you back in telepathically because they're thinking about you or they're missing you or they're um like in my case my my person didn't even really love me they just liked that I was doing healing spells for them and they just wanted my energy um and never actually wanted me so it could be like one of those situations too where it's like they they you know have that nostalgia come up and they try to pull you back in and, um, and you're having these dreams about them or just feeling their energy, like just missing them all of a sudden. But it's like, 
they're not actually willing to talk to you physically. It's still just, it's just astral. It's just telepathic, you know? Um, there's still no communication physically. And I like to give people this warning too, because, you know, I've gotten caught up in this energy where I've been like, oh, it's so romantic that I'm having dreams about him every night or that I'm channeling him, that I can, you know, he read his, that I can pick up on his thoughts, that I, we can talk without physically being in the room. Like, you know, when I first met mine, I, I got in, I got sucked into that energy where I was like, oh, wow, this is so, like, I had never channeled like that before. I was just thought it was so romantic that he would come through my dreams and we could talk in our dreams. And now I don't think it's romantic. I think it's incredibly lonely because I'm like, that's not what I want. I want to physically be touched. I want to go on dates. I want to cuddle with someone. I want someone I can physically talk to and, and have physically here in the room with me. You know what I mean? And I think you guys want that too. So keep that in mind that even if this person is is using magic to pull you in or they're showing up in your dreams or they're missing you, um, that energy, that nostalgia, that doesn't mean that they're actually willing to physically talk to you. And what you need and want is a physical relationship, not the astral astral realm and, and tel telepathy that's in, and the spiritual psychic bond. That's incredibly deep and romantic. And, you know, all of us should want that in a relationship too, but you also need the physical aspect and this person is not, you know what I mean? It's like they pull you in, but then they don't talk to you. Then they still, you guys still, you have them blocked or they have you blocked on social media or there's still miscommunication. There's still, there's no physical relationship here is what it's saying here. So keep that in mind that there's still this energy, this, this telepathic connection, the dreams the nostalgia, it doesn't mean that they're actually willing to come back and be around in your life physically, unfortunately. Um, so you need to have strength to get through that too and not get caught up on this dreamlike energy and not think, you know what I mean? Because it can be really romantic and you need to remind yourself like, no, that's not enough though. You want the physical aspect too. You want someone who's actually going to talk to you. You don't want to have to do psychic readings to try to guess how someone's feeling. You want someone who's actually going to physically be there for you and, and make an effort to be in your life. So you're going to have to have some strength to... um to rise above this psychic energy and remind yourself how it is in the physical and not just get caught up on how it is in the astral realm on the 5d, you know, um, ace of swords. Yeah. Strength, you know, strength again, clear, uh, clarity, you know, rising above this energy, rising above the haters too. here are the people that would want to steal your ideas. Um, I almost wonder if this could be the same person that wants to steal your ideas. Ugh. Queen of Pentacles, I, yeah, I think Queen of Pentacles and Ace of Pentacles, I think after Mercury Retrograde, you're going to have kind of a breakthrough. I think it's going to be this, this could be a rocky process for some of you, but I feel like you're going to have some realizations, like you're going to learn some important lessons during Mercury, Mercury Retrograde. And I think that when Mercury Retrograde is over, you're going to be able, willing, willing and able to take that next step with your, with your on, with your online business or your, um, you know, graduating school, um, finding a new job, um, bringing your ideas and your creativity out to the world, whatever it is that you're, whatever this, this energy is like the finances or the career, the, the, the life path that you've been kind of working on. Um, you know, there's just that, like I said, just save your ideas, protect yourself. But, but it's saying, I think that you're going to be taking that next step after Mercury retrograde. Like you're going to be ready to take, to, um, level up. This is going to be, this is like the, the, I don't want to say the final battle. Cause I don't, I don't feel like, I mean, I don't know what it's going to be like for you guys. I don't think it's going to be like horrible for you guys. I don't want to say it's like the final battle. Cause I don't feel like it's that bad, but I feel like it's more like, like you're impatient for this. You're like, I want to do this now. I want to do this now. And this is like that final stepping stone where it's like, you kind of just have to rest and go inward and, um, And then you're going to be launched into this, if that makes sense. It's like there's just one couple little lessons here that you need to learn. I don't think it's anything horrible, but it's just this little little stepping stone you got to get through. And then you're going to be launched into this finally. Three of Pentacles, yeah, creativity, teamwork. And I think you're going to know who's on your team when you after you get out of this. You can't trust the people around you during this energy, but once you get out of it, I think you're going to be able to see more clearly. And so you're going to know who to work with and who not to work with. 
Yeah, I think you've been in the Eight of Swords energy where you're in, like maybe in the past where it's like you've been kind of stuck and you didn't see that there was a way out right in front of you. And after this, after this phase of your life, you're going to see that there was a way out all along, that there was a way forward all along. Like you're going to have some clarity coming in um, during this time, I think, and you're going to be making some important choices and leaving this kind of energy behind. Two of Wands, yeah, more, more energy about making choices here. Queen of Cups, ooh. Just, justice is coming in for you too. I think justice regarding a love matter most likely. Um, could be male or female. Could be male or female, but you have some kind of justice here. Could also be someone coming back around and this time you get to reject them. Or in the past they hurt you and rejected you and this time you're going to be like, you know what? You know what? I know it's the same crap as always. I know that you're not gonna. I know you're not gonna be here physically. I know that you, you're just saying what you, what you, whatever you want to say to get me back. You know, like you're gonna, you're gonna know better this time. You're gonna be stronger this time, and you're gonna have some justice where it's like the tables turn, or maybe you get some closure on a situation that's been you kind of didn't know why somebody left, and you're gonna under, you're gonna have more understanding. Um, at the end of this, yeah, the wheel that cycles turning, and then you're gonna have better times ahead, peaceful times, stability. So Mercury retrograde is just kind of that. Whatever this is, you know, business, career, uh, life path, whatever this is you've been working towards, um, it is coming. It is it is happening for you. It is finally physically manifesting. It's just this little phase, little couple little lessons here that you got to learn that you're, that you're going through. Maybe some things that you need to go inward and some things that you need to be shown. And then you're going to have this newfound clarity and peaceful times ahead and um, really getting on your soul path. So lots of good energy here. I hope this resonates. Thank you for watching. Oh, and please subscribe if it resonates too. I also do paid private readings. Um, my email is below. And, you know, uh, thank you. <laughs>